there are four life rafts on board. One in the forward ceiling compartment, one above the last row of first class on the left, and two in the ceiling compartments near the middle of the aircraft. The evacuation slides at the forward doors can also be used for flotation. Yo, Nick from the future. If you guys are watching this video the day it goes live, or Monday, I think, um, Huge Supplements is having a site-wide 30% off sale for Memorial Day weekend. Um, so yeah, if you guys want to try the pre-workout I use and support me, you can use code Nick, save 30%, try the pre-workout. Yeah, back to the video. So right now, I'm just at this little Airbnb in LA. Today's Saturday, and I'm leaving Monday. So the reason I'm here is yesterday, Young LA had a party for hitting a million followers on Instagram. So they flew out a bunch of the athletes, I don't know, just so like everyone could celebrate it. And it was really dope to kind of meet everyone. Like, I don't know, events like that aren't really my thing. It's not like a crazy extroverted person, but it was cool meeting everyone. It's like all these people that I've seen online for the years to like finally see them in person, see what they're like. I don't know, it was cool to meet everyone. Also just seeing like the owner of Young LA, it seemed like be so hyped and happy to hit this milestone. I don't know, it was like motivating in a sense just to see you know, someone just like happy to celebrate all the success that they've built from what they've worked on. I don't know, it was cool. It makes me want to take more advantage of like my opportunities and work harder towards the things that I'm working at. I don't know. But yeah, I didn't film anything yesterday. The day before that, I think I I think I put the workout at the beginning of this video, but I just went to gold. It was cool. It wasn't anything special, but I don't know, it was cool to go there. But today, I'm gonna go over to Lex's house and we're gonna we're gonna hit a little workout. Probably probably a push day, that's what I wanna hit. And then the next day I wanna hit deadlifts with Gabe. 
but that might be another video or I might make it just like one long ass video. Anyways, I made some beef and pasta. They don't have any bowls here that can fit my whole meal, so I'm eating it in this pot. I'm trying to get in like one solid meal a day. So that way I can like, you know, have some good calories in me. It's not all like garbage food that I'm buying. But yeah, I will probably see you guys when we're at Lexus house. All right guys, so, hey man. It's pretty interesting to see me on the channel, I bet. See, this is the thing is, Nick doesn't really know how to film anybody else except himself, he's telling me, because he's never filmed a video with anybody. So, that's, you know, I was just like, listen man, just bust that shit out, and we'll get it going. It's as simple as that. Anyway, Nick, why are you here? We're here to hit a push day. No, I meant like, why are you in LA? Oh. Did you already tell them that? Yeah, I told them that earlier. Ah, okay, okay. Well, we were yeah. at the Young LA party. I always, <laughs> not always, but <clears throat> like sometimes, you know, I don't watch too many people in fitness, but I always see Nick's videos pop up when I was a few months ago to now, whatever. And I always like, I click on him and I'm like, damn, bro. Like, what the fuck? You know, I was like, this dude's giving me some competition. He's like, this is bro, bro gassing me up for no reason. <laughs> no, I mean, he, makes, he makes better videos objectively, I think, because he just puts in a lot more effort than I do. I mean, I put in my effort, but he puts in that extra mile. Because, you know, the last thing I'm doing at four in the morning is going out to get a shot of a gas station in the fucking pouring snow. But yeah, we're going to hit a push day. Um, we're just going to start off with some bench. That was we're in the Lex little gym. You guys have probably seen it. <laughs> the gym. Yeah, like, I, you need to sign this. Like, okay. I got, like, I got, like, four-year-old handwriting. See, that's, like, character, you know? Like, it might not be the best handwriting, but it, it's, like, that's just you, though, you know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. Yeah, like if it was, if it looked any other way, it would just be a little weird, <laughs> you know? And then you just write your signature somewhere. It comes in here, has to sign it, because every, I've had so many people in here, and they don't sign it because I just forget to ask them. I might need to invest in one of them. <laughs> like, you break someone in your house, and your house is like, fuck it. AC's not working. Fucking. Bro, you're probably tweaking right off that pretty. A little bit. <laughs> yeah, bro, because... It's hot in here too, so that shit's like getting to Gone. <laughs> I was trying to record it. All right, man. So Nick's taking a piss, but let me tell you something. I don't know when I'm gonna be in frame. Nick's taking a piss. He's gonna go for 345. He says he's pretty slow on the way up. You know, apparently, because that 335 looked obviously pretty heavy. But he's claiming he's got seven more pounds, man. So if he hits it, I think that might be the first PR ever hit in this gym. I'm not even gonna lie, because I never hit anything in here. So. Hey man, that'd be a little crazy. I should have him like write it on the wall. Hey man, Nick, if you're seeing this, you the goat. This is, tell me why I'm having more fun powerlifting and during this workout than I've had in the past like few months. Because bro's, bro's inspiring me. Hey, if you're wondering why I'm so weak on bench, it's because I haven't benched in four months, all right? I don't, I take six months on powerlifting, six months off. And this is my off time, okay? If I wanted to, I could easily come back and bench 415, all right? So don't come for me.
I used to wake up in my room in the morning, put on my dirty shoes in the morning. Heard mama crying last. I'm dead. I'm sweaty. I don't really sweat because my gym's always. We're gonna go swim. I like to go swimming. We're gonna, gonna go swim. swimming. Yeah, we're gonna swim. Um, we hit a bench PR, so that was pretty sick. Um, I don't know how I did that since we're in LA. I that think was it's crazy. Be that was crazy, bro. Because you, you, like, bro, when you travel and you hit a PR, that's like a, that's like hard. Like that's really hard. I, I think a big reason is because the bench here is taller than the bench in my gym. I don't know if you guys remember, but like back in the day, we used to bench in the squat rack when they had the taller bench. And I was a lot stronger, like I would rep 315 in it. But then they took that shit away and we got weaker. So he, the, he has the tall version of the bench. So that helped me a lot. I don't know, it was cool. I'm, like, we got a PR. Yeah, dude. to the Taurus car review. Welcome. <laughs> the Taurus? <laughs> Bro, your car is so legendary though, man. Don't even hold it. Your car has that, like, you know, my car has some character, but your shit, yeah, your car is the whole story, bro. Like, honestly, it's actually crazy. I feel like if you didn't own that car, it'd just be a little weird. Yeah, dude, it's I mean, like, you can, it's, you can it's, get a part a, of, it's a part of the channel. Yeah, you can get another car, but, you know, like, you gotta keep that one, bro. You can't sell that shit. Dude, it's, it, the, it's the only car I've ever had, like, yeah, since if, I was 15. If it breaks, like, completely, you just gotta get a new one. Because, you know, you gotta, <laughs> I'm sure, like, not to brag, but, like, you know, I'm sure, I think you can afford another one of those, I feel like. If I, if I pull some shrinks. Yeah, I think you can get, <laughs> like, pretty cheap, bro. You can probably yeah, find no, a, they're, they're, they're probably, like, a thousand bucks, right? Yeah, they're Probably cheap. something really cheap, right? It's all reliable at the end of the yeah. day. Oh, yeah, not, you not too reliable thing. <laughs> Leave me on the side of the road a few times. Yeah, your camera's absolutely gonna fly everywhere if it's. Uh, uh, it, once we, I'll, I'll move it once we start. Are you scared? Have you ever? What's like the fastest car you ever been in? Um, I don't. I've been in a Z06, like a Corvette. Ooh, that's a good one though. But I bet it just felt too safe. We didn't. We didn't. You don't we, have any. Oh. He didn't. He didn't put it to the metal or anything. What? Yeah, we just Damn, like, bro, I'm taking your fast car opportunity or something. Alrighty. All right. Gotta have the windows down a little bit. Let me turn the heat up. See, like, Hellcats are dope and all, but you know, we're on the corner. You're gonna die if you want to shit. This car can't go around the corner. I don't, I don't handle. No, no handling. <laughs> just fast. <laughs> no handling, just death trap, fly around in the passenger seat. It's always just nice driving at night, too. Yeah. Just driving at night is so peaceful. You get your mind off so much. Dude, especially when it's like a warm summer night. Like only if I, well, maybe it's different for you because I don't I don't know, but for me, like I only when I'm with somebody though, you know. If I'm by myself, I feel like I get too far into my like thoughts that kind of fucks with me. Alright, you ready for this shit? We're gonna take this stick right here and we're gonna put it in the end. And then we're gonna take this SRT button and we're gonna put it in track. And then we're gonna go back. Now that it's a manual, if I downshift, 
you're gonna feel like you're going a lot faster than you are in this shit. That's like, you know, 10% probably. Uh -huh. Alright, you ready? Ready. <laughs> Yeah, dude, it's like throwing us all over the fucking road. Yeah, yeah, but also it's not like a good, like it's kind of a little bumpy, so. You know, you don't, you get scared because you're, you feel like you're gonna yeah, die. Yeah, you feel like That's it's why gonna... it's so fun. Honestly, like if it's like the alignment and the wheels are good, like it doesn't do that. Uh -huh. But you still feel like it's fucking tight. It just yeah. feels even crazier. Yeah, it awesome. feels like it's gonna toss you off the road or some shit. <laughs> also, in traffic, you know, I never have to worry. Like I can make it. Mm -hmm. Like I'm like, yeah, you'll, you'll be there. there. Yeah, I'll like, get over real quick. <laughs> this is your first car ever, right? Oh yeah, yeah, this is. I always forget it's my first car. I bought though. I bought this car and I didn't have my license. Mm -hmm. But that's kind of why I'm such a good driver, to be honest. Like, I feel like, I don't know. I feel like just because you abide the law doesn't mean you're a good driver. Yeah, it's, it's easy to follow, though. Yeah, it's like, you know. Just that means you're a careful driver. Yeah, you can be a careful driver, but, you know, if somebody was chasing me with an AK-47, like, would you want my girlfriend behind the front seat or would you want me behind the front seat? You know? That's just kind of how I think of it. Yeah. And also, like, I've never gotten into an accident. and I've had it for, like, over a year. There was this fucking guy who backed up into my car when it was parked in the parking lot, though. But he was like slightly autistic, so I didn't. I it wasn't. Like you that. gave him a pass. Give him the, yeah, I was the like, autism man, pass. Like, I can't. I don't know. I felt. I because he, he like called his mom. He was like, "Mom, I, like, I was like, bro, you're like he's a grown man." I was like, "Man, bro, like I can't be mad at this guy." Yeah. And, and plus, his whole bumper fell off, and my car had a little scratch. Like it's like the Batmobile or some uh -huh. shit. I can show you. I swear, like and that literally. I feel like that sounds fake, but it's true. Like literally. He, hit, he was backing up kind of like pretty slow and just tapped it. His whole bumper fell off and I just had a, a little nick on my car. Uh -huh. A little nick Peters on my car. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, yeah, what do you think, bro? Like, trying to, well, is this like, this isn't really up your alley or like, would you, could you see yourself getting like a nice little whip? Um, one day I want to get something nice, but I... You don't want to lose that relatability yet? <laughs> I mean, I, I can't afford something nice yet, but... I don't know what I'd want. Like, I haven't really looked into cars that much. Uh, yeah, I feel like, um... I think it would be cool to build something, but I'm not like... You, I, I feel don't... like you're either like JDM or you're... Uh... Yeah, those little JDM cars are dope. Um, but like, I would want something actually yeah, you're nice. Not, you're like... not most American muscle. Bro. Yeah, I don't, I don't think I don't feel like... I mean, maybe you should. You could prove me wrong, but I feel like in my head, you don't... You don't look like you don't have an American muscle. Yeah, I, I, I don't think I've ever seen myself in like a Hellcat, but... Yeah, yeah. You probably didn't even know. Oh, man. Yeah. You know, I mean, I've never been family. behind one. This <laughs> is about family. <laughs> yeah, bro. I mean, I, I always loved muscle cars even when I was younger. I always uh -huh. thought I was going to get one, so. Um, you, you, I feel like you'd either get, like, you'd either get, like, JDM or... <clears throat> uh, I think those are... I Maybe, think... I feel like a BMW could slide, but I feel like it's more JDM or something. I don't know. What, what, I mean, you don't have any cars you're already, like, interested so, in, So, like, I, I think those, like, JDM cars are dope if you, like, build it out your yeah. way. I think they're cool. I, but, like, if I, if I had, like, money like that, like, I don't know, like, the Mercedes, like, the AMG GTR is, like, the bottom Oh, one. yeah, you, you could, yeah, you're rocking a Mercedes all day. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I think, I think those I are. I couldn't think of what, I felt like, yeah, bro, you could definitely, you're in that Mercedes, man. You in that Benz, <laughs> come on. I feel like you definitely one could. Day. Oh, one, one day. One day. Like that's your. I feel like that fits your criteria good. Uh, I don't know why. Yeah, uh, something like that. Yeah, because BMW is more like Gabe. Like what? I feel like Gabe is gonna get a BMW. Yeah. Don't worry, bro. You're gonna get that AMG soon enough. <laughs> soon enough. We'll see. Yeah, you know, I just gotta. You know, I gotta. I just gotta turn it up to the next level. That's what I gotta do. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, man. Use code Nick at uh, checkout. Your supplements in Young LA because I really don't give a shit if you use my code. So use Nick's code. What is your code, Nick? Yeah, just Nick. Yeah. I'm surprised I got code Nick. <laughs> Dude, this guy, uh, as I think I lay his name's Lex. And he's like, he took my name. I'm like, really, you motherfucker? Because that's my name too. And he's just a junior compared to me. <laughs> nah, not actually. He's actually older than me. And he could probably beat me up. And he's a kid. I, I just fuck with him. I say, bro, you're at the end of the day, you're like senior. I'm just like junior. Have you ever, have you been over here? No, I haven't been over here. This is like my spot. This is like where I have like a tan, a tan right there. Like, it's uh -huh. kind of like where I just come in. Dude, it's out. way more chill down here. Like, it's actually like nice. I know, right? Like, <laughs> people always have this image of LA in their head. Is this guy riding my ass? All right, I am going eight under. My bad. Oh, my bad. <laughs> Anyway, people always have this image of LA in their heads of like, you know, homeless people and like mm -hmm. crime or like downtown, but like, bro, I don't live in downtown. I live in like Woodland Hills. It's kind of separated and it feels like homey, you know, you don't feel like unsafe around these areas. This, this feels like natural. Like, it's not right, exactly. Like, I, I, Woodland Hills is a really nice area. I, well, I kind of live towards Calabasas, which is even, I think, like a little nicer, but um, I still am in Woodland Hills, just barely. I'm like at the edge. You guys are looking for Lex near Calaba Calabasas. Yeah, bro. All the celebrities go there. Alrighty. If you enjoyed, is this the end of your video? You think, or are you just gonna go home? Uh, I'm gonna close it off at home, but you can. Oh, you can, you can sign well, off. Well, I'm gonna sign off, guys. It was good to be on Nick's channel. Um, use code Nick at checkout, and you know, I hope you enjoyed the bro talk. Hope you enjoyed the. Uh, this will probably make up for the lack of communication we had during that workout <laughs> because we were just getting it done. But um, yeah, Nick's a really good, really great guy. You know. He deserves a lot more credit. He does get a good fair amount of credit. He gets a fair amount of credit, but he deserves more, you know? We'll get there. He'll get there. And, you know, you guys got to keep supporting this man because he puts in that fucking work more than, like, 99% of people you watch on YouTube, he's putting in more work. He puts in more work than me. So, yeah, I'm signing off. It's going to be on your channel. I'm the first collab. It's really heartwarming. Yeah. Best collab. <laughs> yeah. Well, more to come, bro. You got to yeah. you got to go got to go around. Got to get your got to get your collabs in, bro. But you don't need my fuckers. You're him. You don't need me, bro. I'll catch you guys at home. Peace. Wait a second. Hold on, emergency. Oh, bro. Nice whip. What is it? A C8? 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 Oh. That's a Corvette, no? Uh, nice. You want to get it in? No? You not feeling it? Ah, oh, man. All right. I shoot that. Huh? I shoot that. I'm too old for that. Man, what are you talking about? I make fun. Where are you guys coming from? I live over there. Oh. Yeah. Well, you're having fun. Enjoy. Thanks, bro. He's a postman. Oh, I don't mean to. I don't mean to be that guy, but whatever. It's, it's his car. Man. I don't mean to. But whatever, man. I you know. I don't even know what car. He, I said C8. He said no. I was like, what the fuck is it then? Well, I thought we had a Challenger. Literally, wait, no, we do have a challenger, but I thought we had an actual challenger. That's the pulley, by the way. I think it's just a little squeaky. Uh, it's, not, it's not a big deal.
bought a car. <laughs> yeah. And the Uber's like a million dollars everywhere. Yeah, just pull around through here. Yeah, honestly, I'd go all the way down and turn around. <laughs> I don't know how to look. Yo. What's up? What's up, guys? We're gonna go hit some deadlifts. I wanna try to PR, but I don't know if I have that, but we're going somewhere with a Kabuki deadlift bar. Yes. Gabe's never pulled on it, so maybe he'll be strong, maybe he'll suck at it. It's a little different yeah. from what he's used to, so. I've heard stories, though. I heard the Kabuki deadlift bars are a different, a different breed of deadlift bar. Yeah, it's compared to the normal Texas. Bar. It's more fun to pull on. Like, yeah. maybe I'm just used to the other ones, but it's more fun to pull. We're gonna go do that. Um, but yeah, I'll probably talk to you guys at the gym. Peace. All right, that's a wrap for deads. That concludes the deadlifts, baby. <laughs> Holy shit. So, we were gonna go for a PR, but obviously that didn't fucking happen. Um, when, you're, when you're using a deadlift bar, the plates you use like make such a big difference. So it's like, anytime you're at a new gym, it just feels like a totally different lift. You know, yeah. what, you know what I mean? It feels foreign, the deadlift feels foreign in your hands almost. Yeah, it, it feels really, it just feels fucking weird. Um, but we, it was fun. I failed 635. Then I did 585 for five. He did 585 for almost five. <laughs> four point like four point seven, I'd say. <laughs> I couldn't get it. And then we both did 495 for as many as we could. I forget how many I did. I did. I think I did ten. Yeah, I'm not sure how many I did. I think I did like seven or eight. Yeah, but I'm like, 
I'm totally gassed. It's fun though. This yeah. gym's really dope. It, I don't know, I like it. It was a good environment. Like we were in there and you know, that's like right at like our last couple reps, like everyone in the gym is screaming. Like yeah, it was, everyone, everyone it was enjoyable. Was, yeah, it's dope. It's really different from like your normal gym that you go to. Yeah. It's fun. Definitely. Yeah. We're gonna we're gonna do back now, right? Yeah. Back. Do you want to? Yeah, yeah we're gonna run do back. Yeah, I'll we'll catch you guys after the workout. Yo. That was a good one. Yeah. That was a lot of fun. Hope we you guys slung. enjoyed the Gabe and Nick collab. Yeah, we slung some weight. <laughs> hopefully, hopefully we'll be able to do it again sometime I don't know why I got the windshield wipers for going. <laughs> All you need is a Batmobile going down the streets and boom. <laughs> yeah, that would be sick. You yeah, just get the Ford Taurus. People think it's fucking sick. <laughs> <laughs> it is sick. It looks good. <laughs> He's a freaking professional. <laughs> I'm like me, who crashed the drone first day of using it. That was fucking, that was sick. It's just not meant to be. <laughs> yeah, I guess not. I know, I was... <laughs> you got any workout buddies back home? No. I used to, but like nobody was like... I never found anyone who like kind of like loved it like me. Yeah. yeah. So like, I don't know, I just like... Nobody ever got into it, man. I'm just like... Like I would like in high school, I'd like always with my friends like, bro, try to eat some more. Like, come on. Like I, yeah. I always try to stay on top of people and like teach them. They just like didn't give a fuck. Yeah. And, like, like my friends. Like, like I get everyone has their own goals, but like my friend is like wants abs, right? Super generic goal. Nothing wrong with that. Yeah. Um, but I'm just like, you should really focus on putting on size. Like your body will recomp. You'll have abs and you'll like how you look. And I don't know. It's just like hard to like hey you should force feed with me <laughs> yeah. yeah i got i got such like a especially my first couple years of lifting like i got such a extreme like pleasure like after like a difficult workout like i like not just like my endorphins are going but like i felt like i was like 
this. It's yeah, I couldn't an, describe it. I was like, I felt like I was on so much drugs. Like I was. Dude, just, it's a weird high. Like, when like, I breathe in air, like everything was just so like, oh, like I could just feel it. I don't dude, know. It's like a, it's a weird feeling. Like and like you had like a lot of pre workout and like the pre workout crash kind of like adds to it. Like, yeah. Like something with like DMAA that's like just got your brain absolutely yeah, you wired. Say, yeah. <laughs> um, it's so weird. Paired with music, paired with like, like the windows rolled down and it's like a hot summer night. You yeah. it's like the stars align and you feel so. It's hard to describe to someone who's never experienced it, but it is just the most like euphoric feeling. Yeah, like, I just describe it as like pure bliss. It's like that's what bliss it feels like. Yeah, it's yeah pure bliss. It's so nice. So like you know when you drive to the gym, like when you first start working out, the drive to the gym is like such a ritual. You know, like you take the pre and you're blasting hard stuff. Yeah. <laughs> and you're like, it's like so awesome. And then on the other side of it, it's like the ex- complete opposite, but it's also like, I don't know. It's I, I like for like a long time, probably like three years, probably like three years into lifting, um, I would just be like so passionate about like, it could have been all the stimulants and the DMAA and you know, who knows, but I would just be so emotional, like even driving to the gym or like going home, I'd just be like, like, oh, like fuck, I'd just be screaming out my window, like just driving, like, uh-huh. I don't know. It's, it's just such a, yeah, dude, I'd be like, screaming the songs on the way dude, yeah. I blew out every single speaker in my car <laughs> once I started lifting yeah. I blew out all the speakers in my car dude, I think my hearing is getting bad <laughs> really yeah I, like my ears hurt sometimes after lifts and, damn yeah, bro it's, it's, it's I, I always go on max volume but I think because I always have the hat on it doesn't look like volume yeah. that much yeah. but like sometimes I realize because I'll be on the sauna and like the dude next to me I'll be like <laughs> he's like, he's like, this is good. It's like, he can hear it. Too. Are you okay, man? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, dude! I would be like, sometimes I'd be so happy just driving to the gym, like, like giddy. I like, it was weird. Like, I don't, I'm not like, I don't know. I feel like I'm an emotional person, but not like when anybody's around or anything like that. Same. I'd be like, like, I'm like very like logical and like around once, but like when I'm like in my own mode, in my own world. Yeah. Like, I'd be, like, very... I can feel it more. Like, yeah, I can feel, like... I don't know, like, one... There's, like, one specific time I was driving to... Uh, I was driving to Trenios, which is, like, the, the very first gym. Like, I, like, fucking fell in love with just training like a psycho. And I was just, like... I was just thinking about, like, how, like... I just awesome it is and I was like I don't know I was just kind of like taking it everything in and appreciating it I was like I was like happy like tears were coming out of my eyes and I'm like holy shit like how am I feeling like this hard right now and it's uh-huh. like now I don't I can't get like that anymore dude, but. dude I, I I miss that feeling so yeah. much sometimes I'll go back and I'll buy those pre-workouts <laughs> just to, like please <laughs> please bring me back to that yeah, it's funny that, I don't know, dude. I I got it again. I got that feeling again after COVID because I didn't work out for three months, and yeah. I was like, I was like that for like a couple months, and it was like so awesome. Like yeah. I got to experience that again. I think like I know a lot of people like suffered during COVID, and, like it was like really bad for life, but like I was I was fine. And it, honestly, it was like kind of a dope period. I hate to say this, but COVID was like the best period of my entire life. Same, <laughs> dude, man. You're it driving changed. around, nobody's on the road. Dude, I'm like, it changed my life, and like. <laughs> Me so too. many awesome ways <laughs> yeah. and like like I know some, it was bad for, but like it was like honestly the best thing that ever happened to me like the whole vibe of my videos started because like I'd saw, seen all these TikToks during COVID I'm like that's like such a dope vibe yeah. to them I don't know like COVID you have time yeah it, it was just it was so awesome and like you could do so much I don't know I really liked it I mean I know a lot of people who are more extroverted probably like hated it all but my I'm, friends hated it but like, dude, there was something about just like playing like 14 hours straight of Warzone and then like going to the gym. The, the, the whole day was, all right, I'm gonna eat as much food as I possibly can, sleep as much as I can, game and lift. Yeah. And that was my life for like Literally. the longest time. And I, made, I got so fucking strong. Dude, it, it was so fun. I'd, and I, it would be like 8 a.m. and me and my friend would be like on Warzone like, not leaving on a loss <laughs> and then we'd be on a win streak and we like we gotta go until we lose yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're going until we lose yeah that also like I, I did lift during COVID 
Um, I, I had to take a break for like two or three months, but Idaho opened up back really fast. Yeah, luckily my friend had like, he had a rack, some yeah. like some shitty weights. I brought some shitty weights from my house. That's and, a, as long as you got a bar and some dumbbells. If you got a bar, rack, exactly. That's yeah. all you fucking We'd be like duct taping dumbbells to the deadlift <laughs> bar because our bar was so shit. It was like so short and didn't fit. <laughs> And we were so worried about like losing our gains that um, we would just lift like that. That's definitely like the most damage I've ever done to like my like joints and like really? back and like all that. The, the talking parts are the hardest. That's why I always am by myself when I'm talking. Uh, it's hard to like get into that like flow with somebody. You know. Yeah, I remember my first video like saying, yo, what's up? <laughs> I did like 20 attempts. <laughs> every, I think every single like person who's ever tried to talk on the camera has gone through that. That's like, that's, that's like the great like filter. <laughs> like, you know, do you know what the great filter is? Or the yeah, great... it's like whoever makes it past that. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> they could be a YouTuber. <laughs> exactly. The great, is it called the great filter? Like, uh, yeah, that's like in like life. what, what makes like society succeed. Yeah. Yeah. You answered that. Oh, yeah. Oh, shit. See you guys next time. Yo, if you made it to the end of the video, you're a real one. I know this is going to be a long ass video. I, I know I said I was going to make it two videos, but I just made it one big long story video. Shout out to Lex and Gabe. They were both super dope. Like they're both super genuine. I don't know. It was dope hanging out with them. I hope you guys enjoyed the first like couple collabs we ha we've ever had on the channel. I'm sorry I'm a little awkward when I'm trying to film with other people. I've just never done it before. So it's kind of weird because it's like, it's sort of just like a thing I do by myself. I don't know, the whole trip kind of just like gave me a lot of perspective. It was just cool to be around people who are into the same things that I am because like where I'm from, there's like nobody doing the same sort of things as me. So just hanging out with Lex and Gabe, it, it was just super dope. I don't know, I think this is my favorite video so far. I hope you guys like it as much as I did. It, you know, I didn't have as much planning as like a normal video that I make had, but I think I think this video is really dope. I hope you guys liked it as much as I did. But yeah, um, Code Nick on Huge and Young LA. Um, appreciate you guys, and I will catch you next time. Peace. I got some motherfucking hungry, man. My head hurt. I had to get myself together, make my.